if we can prevent severe cases, uh, it means you know reduced or no hospitalization and no death. And that will be, of course, I believe a game changer in this uh, pandemic. More hopeful news on the COVID-19 vaccine front. Moderna says new study results suggest its shot is more than 94% effective in preventing the virus. Even more promising, it proved a full 100% effective in preventing severe cases of the disease. Moderna now asking U.S. regulators to allow emergency use of its vaccine. Any vaccine distribution and deployment anywhere in the world makes us safer because COVID continues to arrive in airplanes every day. But infectious disease doctor Colin Furness says what remains to be seen is how effective the vaccine will be in the real world. It's still a little bit preliminary. Does the vaccine prevent transmission? Does it prevent disease or does it just prevent symptomatic disease? The Food and Drug Administration will consider Moderna's request in December. The FDA has told us that uh, our advisory meeting is likely to be on December 17. It is highly possible that between the 17th and Christmas, you know, uh, the product is approved. If everything goes as planned, Americans could be just weeks away from getting the first shot in the arm. We, from a federal perspective, have promised and have set everything up so that we can quickly review those EUAs and hopefully start sending out vaccines again within 24 to 48 hours. Moderna is asking European regulators for a similar green light. The filing puts Moderna just behind Pfizer and its German partner, Biotech, to receive emergency use authorization before Christmas. Moderna has already submitted partial data to Health Canada, which has a different approval process than the U.S. and Europe. Now, Furness says we shouldn't expect that review and approval to come quickly, but that's not a bad thing. Every country has to have its own priorities and its own standards of evidence, and I'm quite content to have Health Canada do a very careful review of vaccines. And if we have to wait a little bit longer to make sure they're safe, I think that's actually worth it. Of the volunteers who became infected in trials, 185 received a placebo, 11 got the Moderna vaccine. Now no one in this vaccinated group developed a severe case of COVID-19. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.